Next up, we have How Necessary Are the Programming Fundamentals by Bruno Roca. And it's an interesting topic, right? We've all been there. It's been talked about on iOS developer Twitter all the time, like how important are those data structures and algorithm skills, right? The whiteboard interviews you get at all the big companies for iOS developers, right? We've had that debate tons of times. Many iOS developers don't like that that's what we get tested on. And this is a good article kind of showing the other side of things and, and helping you understand the complete picture. Because like I said, we'll go down to these common complaints that we see here. And I recommend reading the whole article. It is a little bit longer, so I'll kind of like jump around. Um, but right here are the common complaints, right? We've seen this all the time. I've even complained about this a ton. So, you know, we're not all immune to it, right? But, you know, the questions don't reflect what the person will actually do on their job, you know? They're not indicative of a person's skill in an iOS developer, right? Like my ability to do some crazy, uh, you know, matrix, you know, 2D array problem doesn't really affect what I do as an iOS developer and building apps, right? So that's that's kind of the, the sentiment that a lot of iOS developers have, right? The questions in general are pointless. Why does an iOS developer need to know how sorting functions work, right? We've all been there. But Bruno here does a great job in this article of breaking down like why these larger companies like the Googles of the world uh, focus on this so much. And I think he really breaks it down um, in this great analogy of becoming a professional musician. It's long, I won't go through it, but I'll kind of get to the highlight points he talks about here. So basically he talks about like, when you're le learning to be a musician, you know, do you just need to learn the notes and the chords for your song? Or do you need to understand like music theory and all that stuff? That's the analogy he uses for programming. Um, and so he says, who really needs to learn the theory? Uh, so this is kind of like the deep computer uh, science skills. And I think these three points really break it down into uh, what you need to do and what you need to learn, right? And essentially, do I want to learn it as a hobby and never going beyond playing on my couch for fun? So this would again be like the hobbyist coder, right? I'm just going to tinker around, build a little app. Cool then you probably don't need all the computer science fundamentals, right? Same thing, do I wanna play in a band and solidify, solidify myself as a musical artist? This would be the equivalent of an iOS developer going to a medium-sized company and just building the app, right? You're, you're kind of, you know, the joke with iOS development is like 90% of it is just hitting an API, parsing the JSON, making it look pretty on the screen, just doing pretty basic run-of-the-mill stuff. And you can make a great career out of that. That's not like knocking that at all. But for that, you probably don't need the computer you know, science theory. So again, where you do need it is, well, this is a long sentence, but he aspires to go beyond the mere title of a musical artist and be like a classical music, like a big deal. And how this ties into tech is, however, if you aspire to learn multiple platforms, uh, work in a global tech company, amazing salaries, blah, 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 here's the line I like, uh, who are at the top of their field, helping them literally define what tech is. Okay, if you're doing that, like, you know, if you're at Tesla, creating self-driving cars, or if you're in the AR field and you're defining the AR tech, 1 million percent, you're gonna to need to know the fundamentals of computer science theory, like inside and out. That's where those are important. So again, the distinction here, you can't really, you know, put a whole blanket over everybody, right? What do you wanna do? Are you just a hobbyist? Do you just wanna work at a company where you're just building pretty standard iOS apps? or do you wanna define technology, right? So if you're in the first two camps, you probably don't need to understand all the computer science theory and all that stuff. And you can have great careers doing that. Again, not knocking it. However, if you wanna to go to these big companies and work on the cutting edge and define technology, then yes, the computer science fundamentals are gonna be a paramount. But anyway, I highly recommend reading this article, especially if you're in the interview process and maybe you've had some of these whiteboard interviews as an iOS developer and you got all discouraged. I think this is a great article and a great point of view to help you understand the bigger picture on why these companies are asking these sort of questions. This was a clip from an iOS development news show that I put out on a monthly basis. If you like this sort of stuff and you want to see the complete show, check out my channel. I got a whole playlist of them. And if you want to check out Swift News as it's released, I put it out at the beginning of every month. See you in the next one.